G'day guys, here we are at the number 14 guide stop. Um, all right, let's get straight into it. Uh, the footprint we've got is 75 by 55. So we'll get a rectangle tool and put that in. 75, 55, enter. All right, now this one's got a bit of a weird, unique kind of shape. So we might have to do a few weird different things to remove parts, but you know, we'll tackle it step by step. The height of it is, we can see that on the drawing over here, it's 45 millimeters from there to there, plus we've got a five millimeter chamfer. So the total height would be 50 millimeters, 45 plus five, All right? There we go. So that's our overall shape size. So let's see. How are we gonna figure this one out? Um, let's start off with that block there. We can grab the rectangle tool and we can see that it's 25 by, uh, actually we might not be able to use a rectangle. We can see it's 25 millimeters this way. So we can put that in, 25, enter. And then we don't know how wide it is, but we can see that it goes all the way to that wall there, which is 30 millimeters away from the back edge. So let's put that in, 30 millimeters from the back edge. Then we can use the tape measure, hold down shift and I'll draw a rectangle from there to there, right? Perfect, so that's that bit in. Now, um, we can see that from here to that point is 12 and a half millimeters. So let's measure that and put that in, 12.5, there we go. And we'll draw a line straight across. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we can erase this line now. Or no, maybe we need to keep it in because we need to push this part all the way down. We're getting rid of that. That does not exist anymore. We're going to be drawing a straight line from here all the way across, right? Pushing this part down how far? Um, let's see. Ah, okay. We, I don't think it tells us how far we have to push it down, but it does tell us that from the bottom, it's 10 millimeters to the bottom of that little radius, and then the radius is five millimeters. So that's 15 millimeters again. So we'll measure from the bottom up 15, and we can push this part to there, okay? Now, this top bit here, the top of that little square has to come down, it tells us 10 millimeters from the bottom of the chamfer, and the chamfer is 15, uh, is five millimeters, sorry, so that's a total of 15. One, five, enter, okay. Starting to look good. We can use the eraser to get rid of that because we don't need it. Now, let's start removing a few things. So we can see that from the bottom surface here, from that surface, it is 10 millimeters up and 10 millimeters in that we need to remove. So let's go from here, which is in line with the bottom surface, 10 millimeters up, and we'll go 10 millimeters in. Draw a little rectangle in there and push that one all the way through. Okay, use a rubber to get rid of that. Okay, so that bit looks perfect. I think all we need to do now is use the follow me tool two times to put that radius on and then that chamfer all the way around. So let's start off with the chamfer at the top. It's a five millimeter chamfer. So we go five in that way and five down that way. Use the pencil line from guide point to guide point. And again, we have the follow me tool over here. Click here, and we're just gonna follow with the mouse all the way around these red lines back to the corner, okay? Didn't leave anything for us there that time, so we don't need to erase anything, that's good. Um, perfect, cool, now we can do the radius at the bottom. So that's a five millimeter radius, so we mark it out nearly exactly the same way. Five millimeters that way, five millimeters that way. Your grab the arc tool, we'll draw that arc in. Click, there's our quarter circle, and we will use the follow me tool to follow that all the way around. Okay, now just one line there I've got to erase, and that looks like a completed. Oh no, hang on, it's left the lines over here, so we'll erase those. There we go, that looks better. So We've got our number 14 guide stop completed. So we'll edit, delete guides. 
One thing I like to do after I've deleted uh, the guides is just go around the drawing, check around the whole thing, and make sure there's not any funny pencil lines hanging around from you know random times where you move things. Uh, but that looks pretty good. So we'll file, save it. Number 14, guide stop. Save. And then we'll hit file, new. And we can get started on the next one, which is the corner step. Okay, that one looks pretty easy, doesn't it? All right, see you over there.